my children. Listen to my words while I hear this. Hey, you clowns are up there. Keep shooting me. Alright. Hey, Everybody shut the fuck up and listen to Pastor Francis. A long time ago in a dimension far, far away, there was a collective of midgets by the way of our snack. Alright, I'll just keep hopping, guys. And the midgets fighting over a hummus snack. Perhaps nothing to do with our story, which really begins with small, hygienic design on a hygienic design. Gather around, my children. I'm here, Francis, I'm here! No! Pastor cannot stop fucking dying, dude. I think Pastor just needs to go somewhere else. I'm back to my Shrad, get the hell out of the way. Pastor Francis needs to get up there. I had that. I had a studio. I went to the studio. I went to the studios. I had it all. And I looked at it. Strad, this sucks. Get down. We need Pastor Francis. Fuck this. I got a motorcycle and a sleeping bag. My My son, I need you to step down. Here, let me see. I'm a king, man. I run the underworld, guy. I decide who's just what and where they do it at. All right. Run around and act like I'm some teeny bopper somewhere for somebody else's money. Are you want to put it out? I make the money, man. I roll the nickels. The game is mine. Oh shit! Oh. There's an accident. It's all right. Hey, there's a church down the street. If you would like to come to my church. Yeah, let's go. Me. Let's let everybody gather around and take a seat. Alright. Chapter 1 of Francis and the Filth. Page 17, I believe. Through the stretch. This time, they reached out into the drill and the ears of the protagonist, yet they remained muffled. He instantly picked. Oh shit, what the fuck? He instantly picked at his ear and pulled out a long piece of wax the size of today. A third calling brought him desired effects of Francis, sat bolt upright and terrified look, and he only became down, hearing Christian rap played in the morning and seeing the Dark Lord himself. Oh, Chin Chin, they said, oh! One part of Nobody the ceiling then opened up. Like I'm gonna fucking shoot you. Pulsing. A man. All right. Part Keep going, Pastor. Pastor man, I want to fucking die. Please kill me. Hey, after, after you listen to the words of the Lord, and Francis, and you'll understand and where your life is. Oh, okay. Everyone. Yo, he's blocking yeah, that yeah. shit up. Gather around, my children. No, 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 let me in. Open, open, open the doors open so up. the children can come in. Open the doors. This for the Lord Francis in the filth. Shall we? Shall we begin? Yo, change is, your job. So. What, what, change my job to what? We got you. No, no, no. We got you, bastard. We're uh, we're your civil protection. Oh, thank you, my son. Hey, fucker! Get the. Get him! Get him! Kill his ass! Get the fucking master! Nothing outside, actually. Hold on. Uh, long ago. Let's, let's get ready for this. Throughout the stretch, repeated. Chin chin, dude. Then that's you, know. The first time they reached the protagonist. Yet, they remain muffled until it is protected. Yes. Hiss at his ear and pulled out a long, stage. large of wax. Besides the date, the third calling brought on the desired effect of Frank. With that the terrified look that they only came from hearing Christian rap music in the morning and seeing the Dark Lord himself. Woo! 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 I 
chin chin dice kiddo. Oh chin chin. Part of the ceiling that opened up with a wet pouch pulsing throughout it. What looked like a long from a for a sack of a better description, a flat fetus, a black fetus, still screaming, it slid onto the ground and began to unfold. Dressed completely in black. Yes, my son. Oh, shit, okay. Part of the ceiling that opened up. Oh, let's get back to where we were. It was through the very source of darkness itself. His presence seemed to bring a distortion in space-time continuum. And when it spoke, it brought both the chronic art. Shin Shin, Dark Lord, why have you come to torment me? Francis said. Have you come to send me into the abyss? Frank asked, paralyzed with fear. Now, Frank lived across the back street from a morbidly obese lady called Mrs. Montez, who pretended to be a window pole dancer. Whoa! <laughs> was really a PETA agent determined to catch Frank in the act of animal abuse. She, she was, however, actually widowed. That part was true. She had also had miscarriage. She, she observed Frank the humongous telescope, which was really quite unnecessary because the back street was only five feet wide and their windows directly faced each other. She would sit for hours watching Frank lie comatose and huffing Jenkin and Kenemy, just as he would sit for hours keeping a protective eye. The pastor is Let me not turn the page. Of death. Let him speak! Then ten, that ten-year-old boy with nice, with that nice little axe, living across the street in front of his apartment, she befriended Frank by telling him she was simply checking in on, on his fiber intake and occasionally throwing fruit through the window, whether it was open at, at the time or not. When she saw the horrors of Chin Chin unfolding in Frank's room, she threw open her window and cried out for mercy. Leave him alone. I'm taking it for faster. <laughs> Fuck it. What the heck is happening? Pastor Francis. I killed the fucking hit man. Unfortunately. All right. Oh, chin chin this shadow. He placed his hand on Frank, trembling heart, absorbed the remaining chromosome from him. With that, he quickly crawled back into his that ceiling pussy, leaving Frank a quivering, empty shell of a man. Once oh, the shock like waves had subsided, the space-time continuum has returned. Let me turn the page. Wait, hold on. Don't worry, guys. I got this. I got this. Alright. <laughs> what, bro? Holy crap. No worries. No worries. Not... I got it. I got it. Don't worry. Just have a dead cop. Give, me all, so Give so me all your tithing money. Give me all your tithing money. Give me all your tithing money. What? Give me all your tithing money. Give me your tithing money. You're going to have to take it from me. What the fuck? That's good enough. <laughs> To normal, fear departed, and the fear returned to normal Frank's bedroom. Then, the Frank sat on his bed and scratched his balls. He looked around to reorient himself. Then, very faintly at first, another activity began around the room. Initially, he started with just the light, lightest of movements, from the cupboard door to the bunch of just a fraction. Then a fraction more. Then he peered into the car. Finally, the door swung open and jumped out of semi-naked little runt crying some rosary beads. 
Alpha, Sir, uh, Alpha Sertarian, Frank exclaimed. God, good to see you, my friend. Thanks for all of the support a minute ago when Chin Chin was here. He waddled over to Frank and sat on his bed beside him. Good to see you, good to see you too, Frank. You fucking tool. Good thing. I wasn't here a minute ago and the dark floor was here. I'm gonna snap and dig in the tube. So Russian! Alright, my children, I'll be back. You're a pussy too, you know that? You, the Alpha Centurion, are both a couple of pussies. You mixed chin chin all on my own. It was pretty scary. For, all, for a while there, on hearing the Dark Lord's name, Pink Guy's eyes were stunned wide open. He could not understand how Frank could ever encourage to say Chin Chin's name aloud. At this moment, rustling noises came from underneath the bed. Come out, Salamander Man. I know it's you. Yes? Came from the reply from the huge humanoid Salamander peeped out from under the bed. Salamander Man, what are you doing under my bed? Have you any idea the filth that lies under there? I tell you, some pretty nasty shit down there. This concludes my reading of past uh, of Francis of the Filth for today. Not for today, for like the next ten minutes. How did you guys thank you. Thank you. I was blessed. I can't believe I got the, the specialty of hearing something like this. The privilege to listen to Pastor Francis. Indeed, my children. Yes. Yeah. By the way, I, I bought another gun. Oh shit, that's a nice one. Is that an HK? Pastor Francis, right. you are the best pastor this server's ever Dad. had. Tell me, Dad. Thank you, my children.